Well, TMS family, today I'm spending a day with my role model. Um, this is one guy, you know, one of the finest goalkeepers that has come out from Alexander Township. And he went on to make his name, um, you know, in the elite of the PSL era. Even went to play the World Cup, actually. Um, if you're wondering who I'm talking about, if you all know my nickname is Spider. I'm talking about the original Spider. Brian Bafana Balogo. I don't know how I should feel. I'm excited, I'm nervous. This is one guy who has always inspired me during my junior days uh, while I was aspiring to be a professional footballer. I'm meeting him in Alex at Alexander Stadium. That's where he started playing his, his, his football. Brian, how are you? Good, good, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm very well. But, 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 uh, here. He's talking about Alex and he's one of the best goalkeepers to come out of this place. Obviously, uh, before me, hey, but it's John. fine. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I want to take you back. I want to take you back to, you know, growing up in Alex. How was it for you? Alex has, has always had, uh, you know, uh, legends, uh, mm. uh, you know, professional footballers. Yeah. And, and luckily, just from my street, mm. down the road, Mm. Uh, there was a legend, goal, legendary goalkeeper from Kaiser Chiefs, Isaac Chir, mm. and he used to train right here. You yeah, know? and um, yeah, we used to come here, and we would watch him, uh, myself, and Kevin Zlango. I want to take you back again to obviously with goalkeepers. I got Kuzoti, I'm telling about goalkeeper. That would be a huge lie. Yeah. So. Where did you get that inspiration? So there was this guy who was a goalkeeper uh, for City Wanderers. And City Wanderers, uh, yeah. uh, he, he played for the for the senior team and then he coached the young ones. Yeah. And so the young ones, they used to call us Maguaza. Okay. So he coached Maguaza. And, and then I was a centre back. I think I played two, three games. Uh, and then he said, no, you're a goalkeeper. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fight with him. And then he said, uh, I'm not gonna play, you're not gonna play if you're not goalkeeper. So <laughs> uh, that was it. So that was it. So he ended up playing me goalkeeper, but at the time, you know, I never really, uh, I've never even asked uh, why did you tell me you're a goalkeeper? Yeah. So then I became goalkeeper. But then uh, later on in my life, uh, I played for Powerful Park. Yeah. Uh, I played as a striker. Hey, well. And um, I was top goal scorer for three years at Powerful Park and Southern Transvaal. So there was a time where at Balfour Park, then I would play, you know, I started playing for seniors from when I was 14 at Balfour Park. Yeah. So for the senior team, I would play as a goalkeeper. And I would play for the under uh, 16s as a striker. As a striker, yeah. You know, um, I remember uh, for two seasons where we used to play, you know, the provincial tournaments. Mm -hmm. played, I used to play against uh, Mark Fish. Yeah. And Mark Fish was a striker, uh, you know, for Eastern Transvaal. And in those tournaments, uh, I think two years in a row, uh, he would be top goal scorer and I would be second top goal scorer. Yeah, but how did that Chiefs move materialize for you? The Chiefs move was, um, I think it was orchestrated by Shakes. Okay. I saved penalty against him. And then from then, uh, he, he told the guys at Chiefs that, hey, man, come, you need to come see this boy. Mm. So then, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, Alex High was playing against uh, against us uh, with Raluhil. So the guys came, have, had a look at me, and then I said no. Then they invited me for trials. Uh, we used to um, scale, uh, I think, the Puma Abuma two, mm -hmm. but on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, just behind here in the toilets, that's where I know I'd, I'd come uh, with my my bag. I would pack it there. Ngabuma uh, one, so <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, like I was jumping on that. <laughs> only for the, football. <laughs> only for football. <laughs> but the taxi, I had mean, out take, uh, out take uh, two, sometimes three taxis to get to. Rocky. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, take a taxi to Josie. Josie, uh, 
Uh, if I go to Rockville straight from there, take a taxi to Deep Blue, uh, yeah. and then Deep Blue to Rockville. Yeah, you played since 93, you never looked back. Up until you, you were in the national team, won trophies with Kaiser Chiefs, um, to a point that you were part of that 2000 squad, the famous squad that went to the Olympics and beat Brazil. How yeah. was the feeling when you got that call up, actually? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one, of, one of the best feelings ever. And you can imagine. To be, to be at, uh, at the Olympics, and for me at the time as well, I've just come back from the World Cup in 98, yeah. till today now, some of my best friends that I've made in football, mm. uh, it's, 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 it's the guys I met at the under 23. Yeah. yeah and, and that, especially that we went there, the, some of the guys that we went together to the Olympics. Yeah. You were very vocal about um, one of your former teams, Kesa Chiefs, uh, recently, especially their recruitment policy and how they've gone a longer period without um, tasting, you know, cup glory. How does it make you feel, you know, uh, seeing the state that they are in right now? Every day of my life, uh, I can't move, go anywhere without a Chiefs a uh, supporter mm -hmm. asking me or just you know pouring their hearts out that geez things are really bad with the club what's happening mm. so first i would say uh, we need stability within the coaching department mm. across the board mm. from the first team all the way to uh, uh, the juniors yeah and when you have stability there then you then you can start you know uh, come to you know uh, the, the recruitment policy and and and, and uh, recruiting the right players for the club. Mm. Um, uh, unfortunately, some of the youngsters that have been promoted, and, and, and again, when you look at in the last two years or so, a lot of the youngsters that came through the ranks are going overseas. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it shows that uh, on the development side, um, they haven't been that bad. They yes. haven't uh, just, you know, uh, but then, Problem is, I said, like I said, I think for me, it's stability with, yeah. uh, or within the coaching. I'm truly grateful and inspired. All I can say is that uh, from me and the TMS family, continue inspiring the nation. We need more men like you out there who are just going to inspire the upcoming generation while you pass on the baton. So thank you so much, Spidey, for everything. And you know, the last one is always, we don't leave it without that. It's always. <laughs> hey, well, TMS family, that's it from us. Thank you so much, yeah? <laughs>